There is general notion life in prison, especially long term, can shatter the life of convicts that perhaps cannot apply to Richard, convicted in 2006 for masterminding theft of his auntie's property. Despite pleading innocent, he was handed a two decade imprisonment. She's an auntie of mine, and a little problem happened between she and I, and she couldn't afford to, I mean, she didn't take it easy at all. So she forwarded the whole thing to the police station and eventually I ended up here. And then um, that was 2006. So till date that I'm, I'm speaking with you. So you mentioned that you had a challenge with your auntie. Was it a crime? Was it something he suspected you of doing? What was it actually? Yeah, she actually thought I sent some people to steal her money which wasn't really so. It wasn't like that. But they couldn't do enough investigations um, about those things. And me not knowing anything about the law, then the then CID who was responsible for my case has told me, oh, if you go tell them you are guilty, I'll just know how to discuss with the uh, judge to help you out because I can see you are really innocent. You look very young and all that. So me not knowing anything, I just thought he was being of help to me. So I just said what he told me to say in the court. That ended my life here in prison. Richard was then a second year student at Institute of Management Studies, now University College of Management Studies in Kumasi. After repeated appeal to get Richard out of prison yielded no positive result, he decided to put the past behind him and lead a good life in prison. Even in difficult times, one can still put thoughts together to sail through and he is now on the way to becoming a musician. So how did Richard get into it? I wanted to go out a um, few years ago and my mom really helped in filing the appeal and all that. So it was dismissed. So after that, I realized a pastor spoke to me, a prophet really spoke to me in the church. While the officers were having their church service, I was singing and he told me that I'll be here and I'll launch a bomb and all, all that. So I didn't take that into consideration. So after my appeal was dismissed, there I realized I've, not, I've done nothing. I, I really have to do what the pastor said. So I started writing songs after my appeal dismissal. So I started writing songs and all that. And with the help of the regional commander, DDP Lord Niboy Tegu, he helped me send everything to the headquarters and they accepted it. And that glorified day came when Helena Sa met Richard in the prisons. I followed a friend to visit here, um, I think around last year. So after the program, the guy called me that, oh, uh, sister, I've watched your movie and I've been seeing you on TV and I wrote a song, so I want you to help me. Right now, I'm looking forward to um, release his album. That is his first album, let me say that, because um, it's six songs, it's six songs now. Senior Chief Officer Peter K. Uh, at the moment, uh, I'm the Yardmaster. Uh, since he has started this, uh, I'm expecting him to be a great musician in the future. Because uh, being a musician, you know in the instrumentals, you know everything about music. For him, the sheer joy of being able to create music and have it launch in prison is incredibly fulfilling. Regardless of what else happens to him for the rest of his days as a prisoner, this is something that has enriched him and helped him reevaluate himself. He is waiting for the moment he will be free to enable him to continue his music life. That notwithstanding, Richard wants to go back to school to fulfill his dream of becoming an engineer. My mom really tells me that whenever I go out, she's really willing to help me do anything about education. So I know I'll, I'll go back to school. I really will go back to school. You miss your friends, those you were in school with? Yeah, I really miss them. And 
it was so sad that I've never seen any of them since the incident. And it's okay. Surprisingly, Richard is not the only one here. There are a lot more talented musicians at the Kumasi Central prisons. All they need is one step at a time to realize their dreams. Mahmoud Mohamed Nuruddin reporting. Thank you.